Drafting Board gives your students a fun, interactive way to learn argumentative writing skills. Students work with a digital essay builder. It supports them through the process of crafting a complete argumentative essay about an engaging civics-related controversy. You'll find Drafting Board topics with the other resources in a curriculum unit, or you can access Drafting Board from the Teach page on our website by clicking the Drafting Board icon. On the Drafting Board homepage, you'll see a list of curriculum units that currently have Drafting Board topics. You can access any of the topics directly from here. On an individual topic page, a teacher who's logged in can play or assign Drafting Board, download all the companion materials for the topic, and view a report of the student results. Let's click Play and take a look at Drafting Board. Just be aware that your students will access Drafting Board through their iCivics accounts once you've assigned them a topic. We limited student access because Drafting Board is not a game and it works best with teacher facilitation. The first thing you see when you start Drafting Board is this Challenge Mode screen. The Challenge Mode determines the configuration of scaffolding support you experience while you're writing the essay's body paragraphs and conclusion. Being able to differentiate students' experiences with Drafting Board is one of the great new features, and we'll learn more about it in a few minutes. Now, just one quick interruption to give you a little snapshot. This diagram is not in Drafting Board, but it shows how Drafting Board is divided into six modules that students work through. We're about to do a super fast run through of each module so you can see exactly what it's like to work through Drafting Board. Each module starts with a graphic organizer that lets you preview and visualize key concepts that the module teaches. The first module is called the Issue Analyzer, and it's designed as a fictional newspaper article that introduces you to the controversy you'll be writing about. There's a dramatic opening paragraph designed to grab your interest, and then you work through a series of incomplete story pieces to finish the newspaper story. On the right, you'll see the evidence panel. The evidence panel will be there throughout Drafting Board, but it will contain different amounts of evidence depending on your task. You complete the story by deciding which of the three available pieces of evidence correctly completes the blank. As you work through, you'll see evidence and points of view from both sides of the issue. This helps you learn enough about the issue to form an opinion. When you finish the story, Drafting Board compiles all the pieces together and highlights mistakes in red. You go back and fix those story pieces. Then Drafting Board asks you to choose a side. The side you choose is the side you'll argue for in your essay. You'll know you've finished the module when you see the big white star. In the Claim Creator, you choose reasons to support your claim and you find evidence to support those reasons. Start by choosing three reasons from a set of four that Drafting Board provides. In the main part of the Claim Creator, you'll see your three reasons and two boxes next to each reason. You'll also see that the Evidence panel is full of evidence. Your job now is to find two pieces of evidence that support each reason. When you open a piece of evidence, all the boxes change to plus signs. If you think the evidence matches one of your reasons, Click one of the plus signs next to the reason. When you do that, Drafting Board asks if your evidence makes sense as support for the reason you're trying to match it with. If you click yes, you'll see that the piece of evidence has been added next to your reason. You continue through the evidence this way, reading the evidence and matching it to your reasons. When you're finished, Drafting Board will show you if you've made any mistakes. Hovering over a red incorrect box brings up a hint for finding the correct evidence. You'll need to remove the wrong evidence and find the correct matches before you can finish the claim creator. The paragraph constructor is the module where you write the essay's three body paragraphs. You actually go through the paragraph constructor three times, once for each paragraph. Drafting Board offers three levels of scaffolding support for writing the body paragraphs. Right now you're looking at the highest level of support. The paragraph is pre-written except for two blank spaces. The topic sentence is one of your reasons. In the evidence panel, there are only two pieces of evidence. 
These are the two pieces that you match to this reason in the claim creator. At this level of support, there are three clickable sentences in the evidence. Clicking a sentence auto-completes the space in the paragraph with information from the sentence. We call this the autofill level of support. You decide which autocomplete response completes the paragraph correctly. After you've completed both sections of the paragraph using both pieces of evidence, Drafting Board helps you choose appropriate transitions and place them correctly. There's a list of transition choices, and you can click or hover over a transition to see its definition and an example of how to use it in a sentence. Next, you can freely edit your paragraph. The auto-completed answers appear in blue. The transitions you typed appear in orange. Throughout Drafting Board, all of your own writing will appear in orange text so you can easily distinguish it from Drafting Board's text. Now you're looking at the middle level of scaffolding. The paragraph is pre-written, but this time it contains blank areas that you complete in your own words using information from the evidence. We call this the paraphrase level because you need to paraphrase the ideas and the evidence in order to complete the sentences. After you add transitions and edit the paragraph, this time Drafting Board asks you to complete a self-assessment by rating yourself on detail, using your own words, and whether your paragraph makes sense. On the lowest level of scaffolding, only the topic sentence is pre-written. You must study the evidence and write the rest of the paragraph on your own. We call this the DIY level. This time, it's up to you to decide where to place any transitions. Like before, the last step is to evaluate your work. The level of scaffolding support you experience with your paragraphs depends on the challenge mode you select at the very beginning of Drafting Board. Your students will select the challenge mode that you assign them. Very quickly, here are the combinations. Default has just one of each type, just like we saw. Level 1 has one autofill and two paraphrase. Level 2 has three paraphrase. Level 3 gives you two paraphrase and one DIY. Level 4 has one paraphrase and two DIY. And surprise, level 5, all three paragraphs are DIY. Before starting Drafting Board, it's really important to use the matrix in the teaching guide to decide which challenge mode to assign your class and to any individual students. Make sure they know their challenge mode before they start. After the body paragraphs, you develop a counter-argument paragraph in the Critic Crusher. Here, you choose an argument from the other side of the issue that you will crush. The Critic Crusher teaches a counter-argument format that you can reproduce even outside of Drafting Board. You begin by piecing together a practice paragraph. For this, you complete a series of matching and multiple choice activities to learn the structure for the counter-argument paragraph. The directions at the top of each screen help you understand the purpose of each sentence. You'll need to open and read both your own and the other side's evidence in order to understand and make the counter-argument. You then complete a second paragraph, crushing the same reason with different evidence. This is the paragraph that will be included in your essay. You follow the same structure, but this time you complete fill-in-the-blank sentences. Going through the process twice helps reinforce the counter-argument concept and structure. After every module in Drafting Board, you see a progress screen that shows you where you are in the Drafting Board process. This is what it would look like after completing the Critic Crusher. The thermometer on the left shows your progress through the modules as they appear in Drafting Board. The boxes on the right show your progress through the elements of the essay in the order they actually appear in the essay. The View Your Essay button lets you see and edit your work. Finally, you write your introduction and conclusion paragraphs. The introduction introducer shows you how to construct an introductory paragraph that pulls the reader into the essay. A categorizing activity shows you several attention-grabbing ways to hook the reader at the beginning of the essay. Drafting board matches each hook to a bridge sentence, asks you to choose the one you like best, and then pieces the rest of the paragraph together for you by adding your three reasons and your claim. 
you have finished the paragraph by adding transitions and editing. The Conclusion Crafter shows you how to write an effective concluding paragraph, including how to say what you said before, but in a different way. The Conclusion Crafter supports you in learning to restate your claim and reasons in a new way. The Conclusion Crafter has three support levels to help you restate your reasons. These support levels mimic those in the Paragraph Constructor, and they're also determined by the challenge mode you select at the start of Drafting Board. The highest level of support gives you four pre-written ways to restate your reason. You choose the one you like best. The middle level also gives you four ways to restate your reason, but these are in closed format. Pick the one you like best and complete it using your original reason as a guide. The lowest level of support lets you restate your reason on your own, again with your original as a guide. After restating your claim and reasons, you do a categorizing activity to learn about effective clinchers to end your essay. Choose one, edit your paragraph, and you're done. Finally, you have one last chance to edit your entire essay. At the end, your students can either print the essay, redo drafting board, or just close. It's okay if they don't print now because when you assign a drafting board topic to a class, student essays and data are saved in your MyICivics account. When you're logged in, you'll click that View Report button on the drafting board topic page. This button takes you to the main report page. From here, you can view data about the evidence matching activities, view individual student essays, or even download all the data for your class at once. Getting ready to use Drafting Board is easy. A one-to-one -one computing situation is best, so you'll need to arrange for computer time. Drafting Board is also available as an app for both Android and Apple devices, so you can use it with tablets, too. You'll need more than one day with Drafting Board, but they don't have to be consecutive, and Drafting Board picks up where your students left off. Before your class starts Drafting Board, you'll want to check out the support materials and photocopy the ones you want to use. We've got lots of great stuff, like two different pre-writing options, and a helpful progress tracker students can use while they're working and you can use to review if there's a lag time between sessions with Drafting Board. You'll be glad to know you don't have to watch this video again if you forget any of this information. On every Drafting Board topic page, you'll find all the support materials along with the teaching guide and tips, which has all the instructions for getting started with Drafting Board, tells you all about the challenge modes, and it even tells you what to watch for over students' shoulders while they're working. Right now, Drafting Board has seven topics that give students a deeper look at a variety of civics-related subjects, and we've got more on the way. At iCivics, we think civics and literacy is a perfect match. Thanks for taking the time to learn about Drafting Board. We hope you love it as much as we do.